Getting the right product to the right place at the right time is crucial, not only for the supply chain, but also for a great customer experience. We're forecasting what we believe the consumers will consume. And that's important because we want every guest that walks into Subway to have a great experience. We want to be able to manage anything that Subway develops. Any new product they create, we need to make sure we have a healthy supply chain. We're taking a big, big step forward in supporting the businesses they're transitioning and migrating away from these one-off analyses to more planful, advanced analytic type analyses where we're going to be able to predict and make a bigger impact on the business. We're getting POS inventory telling us what's selling at the restaurant. We're getting sub inventory telling us what inventory is at the restaurant. We're getting manufacturing production. We're getting distribution inventory levels. We've combined supply chain data uh, with information from weather, even uh, socioeconomical data. We're starting to look at consumer and social sentiment of how consumers are engaging with these promotions or events that we put out. And we're able to make better predictions and better forecasts. We nail down the decision date on when Mark and the protein team need to make a decision on... Data analysis is critical in supply chain, and it's daily, it's hourly in some cases that we need to manage all this data and use it to execute in the supply chain every day. And then we're also providing data back. We're providing data on cannibalization, sell-through on cheeses that we ship to our distributors and understanding what promotional lifts we're seeing. Now we're able to pull all of that together and create what we're calling automated exception reports. And that is predicting where we're going to have potential outages of inventory before it happens. And if you look at it versus the prior week, it went up a little bit. From a supply planning perspective, when I'm looking at a report, I'm looking. First thing, is someone at risk of running out of product when they shouldn't be? And then when we're looking at the blue, is someone going to end up with too much inventory? And what kind of plans can I put in place to mitigate that? It really helps us stay the course, not have to make significant changes to a window because we're short of a product. We've seen really strong mix data from our given LTOs in 2017 that helps with franchisee profitability. For limited time offers, even featuring variations of our core menu products, we typically will run them at the market level or the store level. And having that historical data will really help us in figuring out what's going to be the reaction in market when we roll this out at a national level. And those production plans that you're sharing, they're going up on the screen. We're just starting to get alignment from the suppliers on the forecast as well. Another set of eyes never hurts. The collaboration has to be there. It's got to be not just between customer and distributor and customer and supplier. It's all of us now, including logistics. By having stores on subventory, we can see how many sandwiches are sold each day by market, even by store if we need to. If we see real-time information, we can just be that much more accurate and get the stores what they need when they need it. It's great to be able to see the evolution and effectiveness of our forecast and that we've gotten better over time. It makes executing a window that much easier. It gives our franchisees confidence that we're able to deliver a window without any product concerns. And at the end of the day, what we're all trying to solve for is how do we make sure that that consumer has a great experience when they walk into Subway? How do we get the consumer what they want, making our franchisees successful?